coming to the second question second question as such can be answered however how to address what exactly is asked is slightly difficult in this question the question says do you agree with the view that steady gdp growth and low inflation have left the indian economy in a good shape and also they are asking you to give reasons to support your answer so here here first of all they are asking you whether to agree that a steady gdp growth has left the indian economy in a good shape because sometimes the gdp growth may be good enough but the economy of india may not be reasonably good similarly low inflation sometimes the inflation may be low but it may not lead to a good economy for india so they are asking whether you agree with it and for these kind of questions my suggestion is never say you agree and write only one side and never say you disagree and write only one side it's always to, it's always safe and better to say i partially agree with this statement because when you say i partially agree you have a scope of telling what are the things you agree and also you can mention what are the things you disagree so in this answer you start for example in the introduction maybe introduction 3 to 4 lines you write about something which is related to both gdp and low inflation maybe i would prefer the introduction of the monetary policy framework agreement the monetary policy framework agreement signed between reserve bank of india and government of india in february 2015 in this agreement actually they mentioned that rbi has to try to keep the inflation below 6% so they have kept an inflation targeting targeting of 4 plus or minus 2 so it should always be less than 6% but the care that gdp growth has to be maintained so based on that monetary policy agreement which has to be actually maintained by rbi we can say safely that in the last 3 to 4 years india is largely able to maintain a steady gdp and a low inflation now coming to the question you can say i partially agree i partially agree with the statement given in the question now we have divided the answer into two parts here one is steady gdp growth other part is low inflation see you can discuss initially you have to mention two to three lines to prove whether there is a steady gdp growth in india you can say that in the last 5 years the average gdp growth of india is around 7.8% but you may caution that in the last quarter i mean the first quarter of this financial year the gdp growth of india actually fell down we we are seeing in the newspaper says the economic slowdown of india however in a larger picture last 5 years the gdp growth is steady it is increasing at 7.8% on an average so this is proved similarly because they said you the reasons similarly low inflation you can actually talk about the inflation you now before 2014 before the present government the inflation in india used to be pretty high due to which there are several putas from different sections of society however for example 2018 if you see the inflation rate is around 5.4% 5.4% and in 2019 in the last few months that means it's calculated february month as per to the last february march and last few march so month on month if you see it is around 2% 2 to 2.5% so actually in the last 5 years the inflation of india is considerably low compared to the previous term previous term so you have proved this statement also now now we have to talk about the good shape of the indian economy you can say that steady gdp growth growth actually helped the indian economy in few aspects and you also mention what are the areas in which the steady gdp growth could not help the economy could not help the economy we have to discuss both the points 
For example, see, you can say the average income of the Indians has actually increased in the last few years. The average income increased. Because of which, because of this one, the standard of living of the Indians has improved, which is a good sign of the economy. Similarly, you can also mention that the stock markets, the stock markets showed more confidence in India and also the currency, currency indices, the currency indices have shown a good sign in the Indian economy. It is attributed to the good GDP growth of India. Similarly, the public spending of the government, you can write about the currency indices and public spending of India. See, public spending, in take, you can take a, a few sectors and discuss. For example, in the health sector, previously, the public spending was just above 1%, but now the government promised to in increase it to around 2.5%. Similarly, the public spending in the education, previously is around 3%, recently it has increased it to 3.7%, and government promised to increase it beyond 4% in the near future. So this is also a good sign of the economy. Similarly, the FDI inflows into India, the FDI inflows into India have considerably increased. For example, in the last 12 months, it was around 40 billion US dollars and this 40 billion US dollars is actually more than the China. So India is actually able to attract the FDI, it can be attributed to STD GDP growth of India. Now coming to the things of the Indian economy which were not in a good shape. See, though the GDP growth of India is 7.8% steadily, the employment, the employment has actually increased only by 83%. We call this as jobless growth. In one of the UPSC mains previous papers, they asked the question about the jobless growth of, of India and reasons for it. So you can discuss here. Though there is steady GDP growth, there is a jobless growth in India. The employment is not proportionately increasing. This is the uh, first problem we can discuss. Similarly, you can say the borrowings, the borrowings of the government of India. See, the external borrowings of government of India actually increased by around 2.63%. You may not remember these figures, but you can simply say it has increased. See, the increase of borrowings itself is not uh, bad for economy. However, where are you using these borrowings? For example, if you are using these borrowings in the capital investment, capital investment, capital expenditure, like infrastructure, it's a good sign in the long term. However, if you are using these borrowings for the revenue expenditure, revenue expenditure, definitely it will lead to the savings of the economy. So, these aspects we can mention regarding the steady GDP growth. Now coming to the low inflation, low inflation, you can say low inflation actually helped helped the Indian economy in certain aspects. For example, because of low inflation in the last two to three years, government is not forced to cut the taxes. Because of which government is able to collect good amount of taxes and we are able to maintain a healthy tax to GDP ratio. Actually, tax to GDP of India has, is almost 12%, which is a good number compared to all the previous years. Similarly, because of low inflation, government is not forced to give subsidies. Government, that's why, is not giving much subsidies in the last few years. Because of which, we are able to reach our physical deficit target. Physical deficit target. Actually, in the FRBM Act, the Fiscal Responsibility and Budget Management Act 2003, we have fixed certain uh, target for the fiscal deficit, but unable to meet it mostly. For the first time, you can say almost for the first time, India is able to meet 3.4% of fiscal deficit target last year, which is a good for, which is you know a sign of Indian economy to be in the uh, good shape. Similarly, you can say that the basic savings and the investment of the economy has increased. The savings and investment. See, when the inflation is low, it automatically leads to more savings and better investment in the Indian economy. Now, see similarly, there is one, maybe you can mention few uh, aspects of Indian economy which are not in a good shape because of low inflation. We can talk about the farmers. farmers. See, 
because of low food inflation, as the prices of the food did not rise much, the farmers could not get good revenue. They could not earn much money, much, much income, which is a problem for the Indian economy. Thus, we have to discuss both, both sides of the Indian economy. That's why I ask you to mention, I partially agree. Only when you say, I partially agree with the statement, you will have a scope for discussing both sides of the coin. Now, for everything, you are actually giving reasons. See, in, in analysis of uh, mostly economy, you have to mention the figures, facts sometimes. For example, this 2.5.4%, uh, 5%, 7.8%. 5%. That's why I suggest you to buy half certain facts from the budget or economic survey of one or two years and dump them in your answers to, you know, to uh, uh, get more marks in the economy answers. Now, finally, finally you can say in the last paragraph as a conclusion, you can say that in the last few months, there is an economic slowdown. Economic slowdown. As I told you, we have uh, the GDP growth of the last uh, quarter was only 5%. You can mention few reasons for the economic slowdown and you can mention solutions for it. For example, some of the signs for economic slowdown is that October's attack has almost collapsed and uh, the non-performing assets have actually increased and the non-banking, non-banking financial companies also could not lend more because there was a liquidity crisis among the non-banking finance companies. And you can also mention, you know, the conclusion of every answer should be more optimistic, hopeful. And you have to give some suggestions. Generally, giving suggestions in the conclusion is a good way of writing an answer. You can suggest that you no know, skilling of the people leads to more employment. You can suggest that the manufacturing sector should be focused much as it is more labor intensive and use more jobs. Similarly, you can talk about the expenditure in the health, public expenditure for health and education shall be increased. For health, it should, be, it should become 4%. For education, it should be 6%. So, so that in the long term, we can make use of the demographic dividend of the India. On this note, you can conclude the answer. So, any questions on this?